Have you ever had moments in life that you think, what is with life? Why can't I have the things that I want? Why is everybody getting what they want? Why is life so difficult? Why can't I just get ahead? Is This feels like such a drag. It feels like I'm dragging a bag of cement with me. Well, I've been there and I know what that feels like. It's a horrible place to be in. But I went on a search and a journey. And yes, it was a bit of a journey and it took a long time. I spent crazy amounts of money trying to figure this out because I needed to get ahead. I couldn't be this little pathetic girl that wasn't achieving and was just like a single mom in the background and always battling. I had to find a way to try and change here. Okay, so what did that entail? I went on this journey of trying to understand how the mind, the subconscious mind works and all the modalities. And remember, I have been a paramedic for 33 years. So I kind of meet people in the worst of their life. And I was really good at helping people with their emotions at the time. But when it came to my own emotions, I was suppressing it, putting it away and not understanding that the way we think and the way our emotions and the two together fit in together to help us create this life that we have always been searching for. So the things I discovered is the mind thinks in a specific way, in a specific pattern. And nobody's fault we're all like this. But you could have 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years of ways of thinking. And the thing is, that way of thinking is what gets you to have whatever is around you right now. So have you found that sometimes you're trying to create a new habit and all of a sudden you're like, yeah, I'm going to do this. This is great. And I start and I'm good for two, three weeks. And I go, oh, man, this is hard. I just can't do this. And you go, "Mm -mm, no, I've had enough. Well, this comes from patterns of thinking and patterns of doing things and patterns and pictures that you see and project. And it becomes hard and eventually your body goes, this is too much effort. I don't want to do it. I can't do it. Excuse me. So with all my coaching in the time spending with clients, I notice patterns patterns of ways of thinking and then I went and looked at my patterns going what are my patterns what how does my brain follow a specific path what is it with that why does brain take a beautiful event delete distorted into something that I should be remembering every single day and it just like fades it into the background and all I see are all these big monster and elephants and problems in front of me that I think how I can't even see past this elephant anymore because it's like I can't even see that good moment that I had because there's elephants in front of me. Well, what if I said there are ways to delete the elephant? There are ways for you to understand your mind and find new pathways around the elephant so that you can actually see, right? And what if I and I could help you look at your life saying, hey, we should be growing our life holistically. In other words, eight areas of our life, we should be growing together from a foundation up. The problem with me that I found was I would go, oh, my relationship's falling apart and I'd focus all my attention into the relationship and I'm so focused yeah and then the next thing my finances fall apart I'm like (gasps) those are into my finances and I'm freaking out about my finances and I'm doing all of this and then my career falls apart I'm like come on and so this just my health and wellness my fitness like everything is just falling apart and I got to a point of going This stuff doesn't work. I tried everything. I tried meditation, changing. I tried um, manifestation. I had all these modalities and I'm trying every day to make it work. And only to realize the answer was within me. My emotions was literally the thing that got me to the other side. The emotions told me how my brain was working. The brain was functioning in a specific pattern. And for me to say, hold on, what is this feeling? Where does it come from? What am I thinking? Oh, that's an unconscious belief that is not serving me right now. I've been thinking this way for 20 years. Oh, dear. Okay. And then say, hold on a second. Is this belief real? And here's the next thing I I battled with. I battled to kind of, one, find the belief, because that's kind of difficult. Like, you know, unless somebody points it out or you consciously have a, oh, mm, that's a belief. You don't notice. It's like life just carries on and you're like, you're missing all the road signs. 
Um, and that's exactly what happened to me. So until I got a coach that was specifically starting to point out little things and show me the signs on the way, I started figuring out, oh, there's a belief, there's a belief. Oh, really? I've got all these beliefs. Like, what is going on inside of you? And then I went, who? Slow this down. There has to be a system and a way to make this come together. So that's exactly what I went on a hunt for. And then I went and found the beliefs how to find those beliefs, and how to use specific techniques like NLP to say the emotion is here with a huge amount of emotion and baggage and memory to this thing, right? That's keeping me stuck. It's almost like this is the elephant that's in front of me. That's why I can't see past the elephant, right? And say, what if we take the emotion away? So you still have the picture here, but it doesn't affect you as much. Oh, and then I fell into the world of NLP and that was super exciting because in a moment like this, it was a <laughs> delete, gone. Yeah, it's still here, but it doesn't bug me anymore. Even big fears that I had, massive of fears, and we all have fears, right? Those things that keep us stuck. Even those fears started fading away. And the more I started using it, these things started fading away. And all of a sudden, I saw a different path in front of me. So, well, there's no more elephant I can see straight ahead now. Now I can see the answer. Now I can see which path to follow. Now I can see what to do. Oh, that's just a habit that's incorrect. And if I changed up the habit to something that now suits me rather than I'm thinking, this is hard, why am I doing this? This is crazy. And now I'm taking this habit and I'm building a habit in a path that is aligned with my thinking. Boom, it works. And it's easy. And I'm thinking, wow. So then what I did was I started testing little mod modalities here and there and whatever was working at the time, I was testing them with clients saying, hey, let's talk about this. Let's feed into that. Let's do this. Let's do that. And slowly, bit by bit, I saw, oh, this was working for me. That's working for them. This is working for me. That's also working for them. I thought, oh, wow, isn't this interesting? And I started applying all of those to my life. And then I started grouping it together and I put it in a pot and I was like, hmm okay what would it look like if I did this to my entire life because one of my biggest beliefs you can't have it all scary why can't we have it all why can't we have a good relationship good finances good partner good job a good health and fitness and all of a sudden when I started putting the picture together in a holistic way and saying wow hold on Claire here's your life your life coaching tools that you're giving everybody. He has all your NLP tools <clears throat> that you're giving everybody. He has understanding how your mind works and why you do the things that you do. That to me was the biggest one. Why do I do that? <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got frogs in my throat today. It's because I'm so excited. Okay, so what happens was I started putting them together and said, and now all this energy, the store stuck energy, old traumas, old beliefs, all stuff was still stuck in my body. That was like the advanced stage to this. It's stuck. Like, what do I do with that? Yeah, I'm feeling better. Yeah, I'm clearer. Yeah, but now all of a sudden my body, I still feel there, lethar lethargic. My body is still not like, now my body's not following my mind. That was the next step. And I'm like, ooh, what is this? Okay. What is this road sign? What do I need to find out? What? And then I realized body work, breath work, flow states, quantum flow. And I started realizing all these things. And I'm going, oh, this is interesting because all that stuck energy is stuck in our body. And I found these ways with lots and lots and lots of coaches and other people helping me found these ways of going, this is how to get it out of your body. This is how to go from a sympathetic to a parasympathetic state. This is how going from that moment to like and allowing my body to become in flow with this mind state and my spirit went <laughs> isn't this exciting i know you are going oh that's real yeah that's real and you have for whatever reason found me on here and what i'm saying to you is there's only a few days left so i put it together in a course and i said you know what i'm sharing this i am sharing this as a course that usually costs more. The value is way more than $5,000. It's a 12-week course. 
the, the foundation of this is going to show you exactly how your mind works, why it does what it does, so that you don't think to yourself, am I the only crazy one out here? Am I the only one that thinks like that? This inner voice is driving me nuts. If you understand it and you turn that voice into your bigger supporter, oh my, life starts to change and you start to change. So what does that mean? The foundation is going to be that, understanding the brain, and turning what your enemy brain that you had into an ally. Once you understand that ally, and you can start working with that ally, you can start directing it into a focus point, into all eight areas of your life. All of a sudden, you don't have this, this is falling apart, that must, I must focus here. You start getting this calmness and clarity, and you start building the walls. Then what we're going to do, we're going to take each section of your life. We're going to take relationships. We're going to highlight them and go, what is going on in my relationships? What happened in my past? What are my funny beliefs that I hold to this day? I had some very interesting ones. Quite embarrassing, but funny now that I think about it. It's crazy. How could you think like that? Play? I don't know. It's just what I thought. But what happens if we break that? I bet you're dying to know. So then look at finances. How do you think about money? What was the first thought that came in your mind? And go, ooh, does that thought serve you? How can we get our ally, our inner talk mind, that subconscious mind, how can we learn to take that mind, to understand its language, to propel us forward? Oh, that's very interesting. How about health and fitness and wellness? How about your kids and your relationships and your networking and your personal growth and your spiritual life. And let me tell you something. When all of this came together, it was like my spirit said, yeah, this is exactly what I've been waiting for. Why did it take so long? <laughs> and I'm getting super excited. And I know. And uh, that's because I'm getting excited for you. So we literally at the end goal post saying like, we're at the end of this race there's only a few more days it's a black friday special that started but here's the thing you get to buy into this course for only 500 dollars, which is actually nothing if you think 12 weeks worth of training of everything you've ever wanted to know in every single area of your life you're gonna go 12 weeks is so long yeah that's a brain talking it is but if i said you're gonna change your whole relationship in one week how does that feel oh wow really really my whole relationship uh, in one week how about your finances one week because remember, eight, eight parts of life, right? Eight, the wheel of life has eight sections to it. That's your foundation. If I took one week, that's already eight weeks of your course done. Then it's foundation building. And right at the end, it's like cultivating, putting it all together and bring it into your life. So actually, all of a sudden, 12 weeks seems too short. Mm, I love how the brain works. So if we look at things like that, I am going to say to you, can you afford not to do this course? Can you honestly afford not to do this course? Because think about it. If you had a stable foundation, a rock solid foundation where all eight areas are starting to grow instead of things falling off and apart, okay? What does your life look like now? What do your finances look like and your health and your mental wealth and your relationships? What does it look like? Well, only $500? Is this worth it? Now, I'm going to throw a sweetener into the pot. Let's throw some honey in. You get to take a friend. And why do I do that? Why do I say you get to take a friend? You can either split the cost and then buy in together, which is fine. I don't mind. Or you can gift it as the ultimate gift to somebody. Or even gift it, get your friend to pay for it, and gift yourself for Christmas. Whatever it is, I don't mind. However, why do I say a friend? It is so you have accountability partner because with account you have to have accountability partner if you want to discuss these ideas, talk about it, edge each other on. So when I'm having a down day and my mind is going, yo, Claire, you're overwhelming me right now with all this positive stuff. I just want to be negative for one more day. Is to say, it's okay. But you know what? Have your negative moment. We're going to use that energy. We're going to find what that emotion is telling us. And we're going to say, cool, I've got you by the hand and let's go on, carry on. We're going to do this together. And at the end of those 12 weeks, we are going to celebrate this like crazy because we both leveled up. That's why I wanted you to bring accountability partner into this. So when you choose your accountability partner, make sure 
It is somebody that's going to push you and somebody's going to pull you because that's exactly what you're going to be for that person. A puller and a pusher. There are crazy amounts of benefits and lots of bonuses that you can check down. So go and have a look at this. This is really amazing. So how badly do you want to change your life? And or are you going to be like me that for 16 years go and search for an answer? I'm super excited to share this with you. It is so close to my heart. It is so incredibly powerful to me. And the more I see people, the more I smile and I see people use this, it makes me so happy. I get, I get thrill bumps all over my body because I know, I know like I know like I know. If it worked for me, it's going to work for you, for sure. But now listen, it's only available to Sunday. And then we go into 12 weeks. So if you didn't get on this round you are not going to be able to until next year March before we do the second one again because it carries on till the 29th of February we start on Monday carries on till the 29th of February a leap year hmm, isn't that fun can you imagine having a Valentine's Day that you've already sorted out all the issues on your relationship Imagine having a Christmas where you now understand in your mind or a new year that you can finally set the right goals and not goals where somebody else has been influencing your mind saying, oh, 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 oh she has secrets when I don't. That's really not cool. But anyway, realizing, having those aha moments. Most of my dreams are always other people's dreams. And then finding my own dreams. Because once you do that, things start changing for you. I'm super excited. It's more than 100 videos, lots of training, weekly get-togethers, frequently odd questions, Facebook groups, and a whole lot of stack of other cool stuff. Check it out. Buy in. Time's almost up. Love you all. Bye.